I'm going to be showing you how to balance equations and I promise, I literally promise that this is the best ever method. Let me know in the comments below if it's not because I will be surprised. So starting with our first equation, nitrogen plus hydrogen forms ammonia. Now your first step is to draw a dotted line under that arrow and then you want to list the elements on either side of the equation and there's only two in this situation and you do it again on the right hand side making sure that your nitrogens line up and your hydrogens then you want to tally chart how many atoms of each element you have present so here on the left hand side you have two nitrogens and you have two hydrogens now do it on the right hand side so how many nitrogens do we have well we have one how many hydrogens do we have we have three now the whole point with balancing equations is that you need to have the same number of atoms on each side so at this point you start adding large numbers to the front and so i'm going to start by putting a big two here and now i'm going to update my tally chart so we now have two nitrogens and then two times three is six so we have six hydrogens double check the left hand side now they're fine but look, we've got lots more hydrogens on the right hand side than the left hand side. So let's put a big three here, update our tally chart. And now we have an equal number of atoms on each side of the equation. Here's the second example. So start with that dotted line, list your elements. So we have magnesium, hydrogen and chlorine. Copy them to the other side so that they line up. And now tally charts. So how many magnesiums do we have? One. How many hydrogens? One. How many chlorines? One. How about on the right hand side? Magnesiums is one. Chlorine due to this two is two. And then hydrogens is two. Sit back, see if you have any issues. Yeah, we've got more hydrogens and chlorines on the right hand side. So we're going to put a big two here and then update. So we now have two hydrogens and two chlorines and it is now balanced. So here's another example. Let's start by listing the elements. So we have hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen and calcium. Copy those over directly to the right hand side, lining them up. We're now ready to do our tally chart. So we have one hydrogen. This is one hydrogens, but there's a two, which means it's actually two hydrogens. So in total, we have three on the left hand side, one nitrogen. In terms of our oxygens, we've got that little two again, meaning that we have two oxygens plus the three over here, which means we have five. And then lastly, calcium is just the one. On the right hand side now, we have one calcium, two times three is six, plus this one over here. So we have seven oxygens on the right hand side, so quite a lot, two nitrogens and lastly two hydrogens. So this one's more complicated. Let's start by balancing those nitrogens. It doesn't really matter where you start, but we're going to start by putting a two here. Make an adjustment. So we now have four hydrogens on the left hand side. One, two, three, four. We have two nitrogens and then two times three is six oxygens plus the two here is eight. So adjusting as usual. Now have a look. So we've got lots more hydrogens on the left hand side than on the right hand side. Remember all we can do here is add a large number. So I'm going to add a two here and then adjust. So we now have four hydrogens and then six oxygens plus two is eight. And sit back, have a look. Are they all the same? Are they balanced left and right side? Yes, they are. Here's the final example we'll be looking at. So we have calcium, chlorine, sodium, sulfur and oxygen. Copy those over. Now tally chart them, got one calcium, two chlorines, two sodium, one sulfur, four oxygens. On the right hand side, one calcium, one chlorine, one sodium, one sulfur, four oxygens. Now have a little look, we can see some issues here. So let's add a two on the right hand side and adjust. So we now have two sodiums and two chlorines. And this was a nice straightforward balance that's done.